Now we're going to sort the veins out. Now you can add veins if you want to. Sometimes it doesn't look right on the picture, but you really have to play around with this effect right here. Now we're going to go to the burn tool, like that. Hit mid tones like that. The exposure we're going to drop down to around uh, twenty percent. Make a new blank layer just in case this doesn't work. Zoom in. Make sure you've got a small brush because the veins are only going to be light and small around there. So, around like that. Now you can be very dynamic with these veins as much as you want. I'm just uh, showing you quick. Now you can drop the opacity of this layer so it hides the veins just a bit so it doesn't look too aggressive. Just there, that looks fine. Now that's one way of creating drama in your picture. So we've done that one. Now the next bit is the dark eyes. Now if we zoom in on the eyes select the burn tool we want to bring up the actual uh, brush and then we're just going to burn the eyes if you want to play with the shadows a bit just around the eyes just to darken them like that do it on this second eye Right there, get some mid tones into that eye as well. Remember not to do it over the pupil, just over the eye itself. Zoom out. So there we go. If you can see what we've done. So we've added drama to the eyes, we've added some veins, obviously the veins don't look that well in this picture, I've just done them really quickly like I said. So that actually looks really good. Now we're going to add the blood, now the blood, you're going to need some blood brushes, now these brushes you can get from brusheasy.com and then just search brushes, I'll put a link in the description bar. I'll add a few um, blood brushes into the source files when you download this picture from my website. So they'll be in there, you just upload them like you would, go to the brush panel, select the drop down, other drop down menu and then select load brushes and then find the brushes and then they're already loaded, they'll be at the bottom. So I've already got some loaded right here and let's just find one that works. So that one will do, this one right here, that should be fine. And we're just going to lower this brush right here, like there. We're going to find the kind of red that we want, sort of like a dark red to do. Make a new blank layer, you can do that by going to the right bottom side and hitting the new blank layer icon. And then just doing that uh, onto, I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger like there and then we're going to go to the burn tool make the brush a bit bigger and you can add depth to the actual blood itself like that and we zoom in now don't forget you can put as much blood in this picture as you want. Um, also another good uh, set of brushes which are the ones that's already loaded into Photoshop is going to be these speckle, well spatter uh, brushes. You can go between them. So let's go on to the 27% one. We're going to zoom in on the eyes, uh, make a new blank layer for the eyes. And so that one again. I'm just going to put some just around 
the eyes just go very carefully you can drop the opacity of the brush down and then just go around the eyes just add in some blood like that and then you can drop the opacity there and we can zoom in on the teeth and just do a bit to the teeth just add in some some blood just there on the teeth it looks like she's just bitten someone already and we can zoom in on the top get a different brush um, somewhere all the way down right there that will do the 6751 if you'll find the blood spatter brush in the source files I've given you new blank layer we're just going to hit that and do that one more time we're going to get a different red a brighter red like that and we're going to go and get the burn tool and we're just going to burn the blood like there and we're going to go in and add some more blood to it the splatter brushes 27 and let's go for a brighter red this time and then we're going to go and change the red again to a darker red so it looks like it's dried on now so basically all you want to do is keep layering the different kinds of reds up and it looks like she's just uh, bitten someone splattered the um, blood all over the place so you can see how we've changed from this is Maya the original and this is the one we're working on now her top is a lot darker and how I've done that one is I've gone back to the original layer which is the one of her and I've gone to the burn tool I've opened got a soft brush and I've just gone and burnt her top so it works a lot better bring the exposure just up 52 let's work on mid tones like there and there you go that's basically all the effects you need to create this vampire effect now there are tons and tons of different tutorials showing you all different ways of creating this sort of effect now don't forget you can play around with the eyes do totally different things with the eyes just be creative don't worry if you mess up you can always go back and redo the whole thing don't forget they use a lot of the burn tool in the um, vampire tutorials so use a lot of that um, don't forget the blood techniques like I showed you just keep layering on the red and burning it and creating all different effects like I've just shown you the fangs um, that's the most easiest way of creating the fangs by the liquify tool there is other tutorials showing you like as I said implementing them uh, fangs from Google into Photoshop but it's a lot more work and it's a lot harder to do and a lot harder to grasp if you're just starting out on Photoshop now this is one of the best ways um, to actually get this sort of effect into your um, pictures so please have fun with it be creative um, add a lot more effects to it um, you can just go wild and uh, yeah please show me your responses and if you've made pictures from this tutorial and I'll be happy to see them so see you next time people bye for now